In this third and final tutorial on DCS flight panels, I will review how to work with formulas. The only Logitech Pro flight panel affected by this is the multi-panel and, more specifically, the displays of the multi-panel. As I mentioned in one of the previous tutorials, much of the flight data that could be shown on the multi-panel LED displays exists only as raw data. Typically, this means that a number from 0 to 65535 would be displayed on the panel if you were to map one of these outputs. For example, the left and right fuel gauges on the A10C have a range of 0 to 6,000 pounds. Without a formula, a full tank would be seen as 65535 on the display. In order to develop a formula to convert the raw data to something meaningful, we need to calculate the slope of the line that would be drawn if we were to plot this data. Fortunately, Excel makes this quite simple. If you don't have Excel, you can do a search for online slope calculators. In Excel, enter 0 and 65535 for the x values and 0 and 6000 for the y values. When the data is linear, as this is, you can use the slope formula built into Excel to get its value. So collect on an empty cell, select the Insert Function tool, and find slope in the list. Click OK, and first enter the X data range, and then the Y data range. Before you even leave this dialog box, you can see the slope, which is 0 0.091. Click OK and the calculated slope is put in the cell. Now go back to DCS flight panels and select the PZ70 multipanel. Decide under which left dial position and in which display you will want this data to appear. I'll leave it in ALT and will put the left fuel tank value in the upper display. Search on fuel and select fuel quantity left. Here you can see that the maximum value for this control is indeed 65535. Next, click on Use Formula for Final Output. Before we create the actual formula, we can test the slope first. Enter 65535 in the formula field, the multiply sign, and then the slope of 0 0.091554. Now click Test. The result is as close to 6,000 as we're going to get without more digits after the decimal point of the slope figure. With a totally full fuel tank, the value of 6,000 would show up on the display as it rounds up. We can do another quick test with the tank half full. Divide 65535 by 2 and test again. The result is 3,000 pounds as expected. At this point, we want to replace the values we entered manually with the DCS BIOS control ID. Delete the manual entries, highlight and copy the control ID, and paste it into the formula box. Click OK, and you are done. Most of the gauges in DCS aircraft modules use linear values, but not all. Developing formulas for nonlinear data is quite a bit more complicated and not something I will get into here. Also, DCS BIOS is unable to return negative values, so it would not be possible to display vertical velocity speeds when they are negative. However, there is a variation on linear data that we can deal with fairly easily. In the case of the engine exhaust gas temperature in the AJS37 Vigan, the gauge goes from 1 to 8, and the raw data only goes from 0 to 1, not 0 to 65535. An easy way to see raw data is to map the DCS BIOS control ID to a display without using a formula and simply observe the output. While the gauge goes from 1 to 8, we know that it really means 100 to 800 degrees centigrade, and that is what we'll want to display. Once again, go to Excel and run the numbers. Since the raw data range is 0 to 1, that gets put in the x-axis. The gauge values of 100 to 800 are put in the y-axis. Click on an empty cell, select Insert Function, and choose Slope. Enter the x-value range, and then the y-value range. The slope ends up as 700, but this is not enough. 
0 times 700 is 0, and 1 times 700 is 700. But we need a result of 100 to 800. So after we multiply the raw data by the slope of 700, we need to add 100 to the result to get the proper output. Go back to DCS Flight Panels, start a new profile for the AJS-37, and select the multi-panel. Click on the upper display and search Temp. Now, here I can point something out. In a number of the later DCS BIOS profiles, we have added pre-calculated gauge values. Doing a search on the term value will bring these up. For now, we'll ignore that and choose engine temp only as it will have the raw data. Now we can build the formula. Click on Use Formula for Final Output. Copy and paste the control ID into the formula field. Then enter times 700 plus 100. For clarity, you can put parentheses around the multiplication part, but multiplication has priority over addition, so they aren't really necessary. Click OK and you are done. This completes the tutorial on working with formulas. I hope you have found this and the other DCS Flight Panels tutorials helpful. Thank you for watching.